So let's take a look about at protecting workbooks, worksheets, and just sections of worksheets. So um, when you open up something that's been protected, you'll need to take that protection off. And you can do that two different ways. Under File to Info, you're going to see that this is protected. And you can click on Unprotect, and it will then prompt you to enter the password if there is one. And now it is unprotected, and you'll be able to edit any locked cells in the workbook. Sometimes you'll need to enter the password if the whole workbook and not just part of the worksheet um, is protected, then you'll have to enter that before you can open and see the data. You'll notice underneath the review tab, here's the other way that you can do it. So it's file to info or under here is protect worksheet or it would say unprotect if it were protected and, and protect workbook and allow edit ranges. There are two different ways to allow edit ranges. You can use this or you can use the format cells and unlock the cells before you do the protecting. I usually do the unlock cells version, but you can also do it here. So um, let's just say that we wanted to protect this entire worksheet. We would click protect worksheet, enter a password, and then say what we want to allow um, in here. So do we want to allow people to be able to select the cells? That means what selecting is, is clicking and dragging. And that means that they could copy and paste it someplace else. That doesn't mean they can change anything in here. It just means that they can select it so that they can copy and paste. This also allows people who have screen readers, if they have low vision problems or they're blind, their screen reader would read this if we allow um, selecting cells. I usually always do that and that's also why you see it has a, a check on it to begin with. You can also allow them to format the cells, insert rows or columns. Maybe you don't want them to delete any of your rows and columns but they need to insert their own data so that you have that data. So you can click here and just go through everything and see what you want them to do. You want to allow them to be able to sort or use auto filters or insert pivot tables and charts. What can they do? So make sure, put check marks on what they can do, put the password in and click OK, and then you'll have to enter that password again. Then just this sheet, not the other sheets in this workbook, will be protected. You can also protect the entire workbook right here. Um, with a password and it could be a different password from the protect sheet workbook. Now what I usually use this for is to protect just certain data. For example, um, I have people entering their own information in column D through wherever. So people are allowed to edit their own data, but I don't want them to accidentally delete any of the hikes or the locations or um, I certainly don't want them to delete my formulas that I've carefully created in here. So what I can do is unlock these cells but keep the rest locked. So I'm going to highlight the cells that I'm going to allow editing in right here and I'm going to right click and go to format cells. You can also get to format cells on the home tab. And then under the protection, I'm going to uncheck locked. Only locked cells will be locked when you protect the worksheet. Now anyone with the password would still be able to edit the locked cells. Okay, so I click OK. And then I'm going to protect this worksheet. I'm going to put a password. on here and click OK. I have to enter it again. OK. Now let's see if I can delete anything. I tried to delete that formula. The cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, unprotect the sheet. You might be requested to enter a password. So I would have to click on unprotect the sheet and enter the password but I wouldn't be giving that out to most people. Instead, they would be able to modify this. Let's see if I can add something here. Yes, I can, and I can delete things. 
That's exactly right because these are unprotected cells. The protected cells cannot be deleted unless you know the password, aka me. Which brings me up to another point, are these passwords. If the passwords are lost, as Excel says, they cannot be, Microsoft cannot tell you what they are. They are lost to the world and you won't be able to edit this. So it's really important, at least I think, to create two different versions, one with the password and one without. So I always do a save as before I protect a sheet and put a P after it so that I know which one's password protected and which one isn't. Now these are not linked. If I update one, it won't update the other, so I do have to keep track of that, but at least I have one with some of the data that is unprotected. Why else is this important? Not only just if my memory fails me, but what if I quit the company and I don't want to tell anybody the passwords? Or what happens if I'm incapacitated in the hospital and someone needs into this um, spreadsheet and they need to modify it? So it's really important that if you protect a worksheet that you have some way of either having someone keep the password somewhere um, or that you have a version that is doesn't have a password on it that people could get to if you left the company or died or heaven help us but those kinds of things so anyway that's how you password protect so you can keep your formulas and the things that are important but allow people to edit the data that they need to do do